Okay, I, I don't know if you guys saw this or not, and I kind of hope you didn't, but this guy, Mike Rickenbaugh, right, when he was running for state senate, I, I might have accused him of being an undercover liberal. You make a pretty terrible liberal. Because I'm a conservative Republican. Yeah, but I'm going to get him this time, right? Because there's no way a politician can actually do what he says he's going to do. And this guy naively puts all his promises in this contract with the PD, right? So I'm going to put on this disguise. He won't recognize me. And we're going to we're gonna go get Oh, there he is. Let's go get him. Excuse me, uh, Senator Rickenbaugh. Listen, I need to talk hey, to you about... it's you again. How have you been? Uh, what? Never mind that. Look, you've got some broken promises to answer for here. You know that? Wait, what do you have here? Huh, it's my contract with the PD. It is, and I'm busting you for being in breach of that contract. You actually haven't taken the time to look into this, have you? Uh, meh, yeah, research is hard. Let me help you out here. I committed to donate my entire Senate salary to charities serving the PD, so I delivered 10 $1,000 checks to local area organizations to help deliver their mission. I committed to fighting for term limits, so I co-sponsored term limit legislation each session in the Senate. I believe that the voices and opinions of the community ought to be heard, so I have held and will continue to hold organized town halls and listening sessions. I committed to ending politics as usual and offering solutions to the issues most important to our community. I've done just that in the Senate and will continue to look for opportunities to solve complex problems with unique and effective solutions. I committed to fight for lower state income tax for individuals, families, and job-creating businesses, so I supported a $2 billion tax cut, the largest tax cut in state history. As a law enforcement officer myself, I committed to supporting police, sheriffs, and other law enforcement agencies, and I have advocated for comprehensive support for law enforcement. I also secured funding for PD law enforcement agencies during my time in the Senate so far. I vowed to be a good steward of taxpayer dollars, and like everyone else, I'm tired of wasteful spending, backroom deals, and corporate bailouts, and I now have a clear record of protecting our tax dollars from misuse. I committed to spending education dollars in the classroom, not government bureaucracy, and to help protect parents' rights to make the best decisions for their children's education. Since then, I voted for increased funding in the classroom and accountability for those dollars. I committed to prioritizing infrastructure improvements based on needs, not on politics, and I have done just that. And finally, as a staunch defender of the Second Amendment, I voted to protect these most sacred constitutional rights by voting for constitutional carry. So yes, I have fulfilled my promises, but it's important for my neighbors in the PD to know that there is still so much more work to be done. You know, these kind of promises are ongoing commitments, so feel free to check in with me and hold me accountable. I, I guess that's fair. Now I've got a question for you. Okay. Man, sure, why not? Take it big, mama, I'm going fast. <laughs>